now you're focusing more on the education side of things. So you yep. have a number of a number of education facilities. How many yep. are there now? Uh, currently, we have 10 early learning centres in North Korea, mm-hmm. one in New Zealand. And previously, we operated language school in Japan. But we shut down the language school uh, to remodel our educational business yeah, uh, from the typical language school to the uh, learning experience provider. In Tokyo, we have about 50 bilingual teachers. Previously, they taught English, yeah, just um, business English or presentation, these kind of things. But uh, currently, they create education program for schools and companies. We change the business model uh, from B to C, uh, business to consumers, to so business to business, B to B basis. For the next couple of years, we are going to establish the farm business models in education on the basis of B to B to C. So we create education programs for schools and then schools uh, offer educational service for students. It means we made a B2B2C. And some of our businesses and Global Sky, uh, we do our own B2C business as well. Your education facilities cover the whole spectrum, don't they, from right. what, what, right. what I would call being old, yeah. I would call it kindergarten, yep. I think they call it preschool now, yep. all the way through primary school and yep. senior levels and tertiary. Currently we have a uh, part of early learning sector, but in Japan we have the uh, corporate training and then uh, we are aiming to integrate the both operations uh, to provide lifelong learning experience then we are not willing to replace the existing schools. Yeah, so our core value is creating learning programs. Then we are happy to provide our programs to the existing schools, as well as provide our solutions to our own learning centers. Okay, so, so, so tell me, tell me what they are. I mean, yeah. what what do your education facilities offer that, uh, or what yep. do you believe that they yeah, offer? Good the question. Ones yeah, good question. Yeah, so uh, yeah, Global Sky has a Global Sky Education have a policy to provide a QGC, so quality and global and creativity. So uh, we provide the highest quality of education. Uh, services at our learning centers and then we put priority on the global economy uh, how to survive in this VUCA era and also the most important thing is creativity to live in this uh, new globalization and uh, digitalization society. We have the three, how can I say, steps to be a uh, creative learners. Yeah, so the first step is uh, learning something. So we say foundation part. Then second step, they do the active learning. Yeah, such as group work or some field work. And then the final stage is doing creative learning. So these three steps will make the creative learner, we believe. Yeah, so we'd like to deliver this combination of educational program for all generation and all learners.